Yo, what's poppin' guys? Welcome back to Football Yannick. How you all doing? Well, I hope. Uh, currently sitting in my mother's living room, filming on my phone. Sorry for this, uh, the peculiar production value. But I did want to talk about something, and I thought, hey, perfect opportunity. Uh, just film it on my phone and upload it onto the second channel. Why not, eh? So welcome back. I do want to talk about Jose Mourinho learning German and the Bayern Munich job, because it's a huge, interesting talking point. And I think it's kind of funny. Um, a massive story, bro, in the Bundesliga with um, Bayern possibly not going to win the title for the first time in, what, 13 years? Naturally, one has to think of the Spursiness with Eric Dyer and more notably Harry Kane going there. And Harry Kane, possibly the most complete centre forward in world football right now in terms of his age. He's 30 years old. He pops loads of goals. He can play deep. He can play anywhere on the pitch, like as a quarterback and number 10, a striker. Um, he can do it all. He's a playmaker, a sort of, yeah, like I say, a, a player who can play between the lines, but he's also an elite number nine. <laughs> he must be fuming. He must be thinking, right, I've like, come out of my comfort zone. I've gone all the way to Germany to like win guaranteed trophies. And not only that, this could be the ultimate Spursy moment in the first season in a million years for us to not win the title. But Jose Mourinho moseys on down. He must be thinking, how's your luck? Anyway, um, we're going to get into it. Just a quick thank you for those of you who support the content. I realise it's been like best part of a couple of weeks since I've uploaded on here. So I'm going to try and do it more. I was thinking of doing some more branching out content on football therapy. But I'm not sure yet. I'm sort of keeping my options open. I want to mix up a little bit. I might also change the brand. Well, I've already changed the branding a little bit on Football Therapy. The banner, anyway. We'll see how we get on. Uh, I actually really love, incidentally, the branding on this channel. I love the little FY Football Yannick logo. Uh, I think the banner is good. Got it designed a while ago. Anyway, it's about reigniting the content. Uh, and if people are interested in my commentary, getting them to come back to the channel and visit. So, yeah, a little reminder and opportunity to uh, subscribe and like if you do uh, dig the content. So, I won't spend too much time speaking about Bayern Munich, as this is something I've spoken about on multiple platforms lately. Of course, they're one of the elite clubs. You totally understand why Harry Kane went there. Um, it's not. It's, it's better than going to PSG as well. Remember last season as well, Dortmund had Dortmund won their game, which they should have won on the final day. Um, Bayern would have conceded the title to them anyway. So it's not like, you know, I'm not sure that he... Yeah, I mean, he'd always start for England, even if he went to PSG. Maybe if he went to Saudi, there would be questions asked. But I get it. Bayern Munich, everyone in Germany speaks English anyway. Uh, Thomas Tuchel has a profound command on the English language. Um, it's actually like quite a pleasure to hear him speak about football and life in English. That's how good of a English speaker he is. Uh, loads of the Bayern squad will speak English. And he's got he's one of his besties, Dyer, that followed him out there. So it made a lot of sense. Um, and obviously Bayern Munich, in theory, have a much better chance of winning the Champions League than PSG. PSG are yet to win the Champions League in its current iteration, uh, and, you know, only a few years ago, Bayern Munich won the treble. So, yeah, so Bayern Munich, and then, you know, of course, Thomas Tuchel, the current Bayern manager, uh, even more recently won the Champions League with Chelsea, so... I get it, you know, go over there. Um, now, he left, <laughs> it did seem like, oh god, what, well, Tottenham win the Premier League? Not going to happen, thankfully. Although they are pretty good under Ange, and maybe he would have liked playing football under Ange, but, <sighs> like, but yeah, still, Tottenham aren't going to win a trophy anytime soon. So I kind of got like a lot of respect for the move from Harry Kane to go to uh, Bayern Munich. I think it's good. I mean, obviously, it's, it's maybe not as... Glamorous is going to one of the La Liga giants, but it's probably the next best thing. I would be. Uh, I actually prefer him at Bayern, and I'd prefer him going to like an Inter or Juve right now. Um, yeah, I think I prefer him going to Bayern. This is speaking kind of like as an England fan, you know, with England's captain who's still only thirty or whatever. So that's from my like selfish fan perspective, but he will feel fuming. Um, now, I guess we talk about Jose Mourinho. It's wild that, um, it's, it, it's, I mean, where's it? Mourinho's managed in Portugal, 
uh, two clubs in Portugal. Um, he's Spain, Real Madrid, um, a couple of clubs in Serie A, in Inter, and of course, recently Roma, which is where he's just been sacked from. And of course, multiple clubs in, in England, in the Premier League, Chelsea, Man United, Tottenham. So he's been all over the gaff. I don't think he'd go to Ligue 1, but yeah, Bayern Munich, I mean, would Bayern Munich take him? You know, I'm not sure they would, but apparently he's been learning German, uh, so say if the reports, and um, should Thomas Tuchel get sacked, which they're five points off the top to buy Leverkusen. Uh, he was on the ropes too cool from last season from how they performed in the championship, uh, Champions League, excuse me. Nagel's man was doing well in the Champions League. They sacked him, which raised some eyebrows, and then Tuchel came in and, and did worse. Um, but I kind of get it. They probably wanted Tuchel to see them over the line because of the Chelsea Champions League win, but it didn't work out. And of course, they got very lucky on the final day when Dortmund messed it up, so Bayern managed to win the title still. Uh, I think they were level on points, but they won on goal difference. But all uh, Dortmund needed to do, I think I think that Dortmund were at home, but they were heavy favourites to win that game and they messed it up. And remember Jude Bellingham couldn't start. Anyway, so very, very lucky for Bayern and Tuchel uh, to get that title. And then this season, with a full season, five points off the top. I mean, they might still win it, but I, they just went to play by Leverkusen and got slapped up for a convincing 3-0 win. And it's... You know, and this is with Harry Kane. I mean, they've made a few signings, um, but Harry Kane is doing really well there. He's like breaking scoring records, playing really well. Like, has no, didn't need any time to settle. You cannot ask any more of him. And that's kind of why it's, it's a bit of a meme, and I feel super bad for him because he's just doing it. Even when at Tottenham, you know, he'd always just score loads of goals at Tottenham. You know, the last season, last season where Haaland broke the scoring record, Harry Kane scored 30 Premier League goals. <laughs> like a few years ago, that was like near the record, but it was like, I think it was only six or whatever behind Haaland, but people don't talk about it. But 30 Premier League goals is wild. He still scored in other competitions as well. Like, you know, that is an insane return. And he's gone on, gone to Germany immediately understood what the coach wants or had to get into scoring positions and just scored constantly so many goals so you've got to feel bad for him um but it, it, it just reeks of sp spursiness and um and what if Jose Mourinho rocks up learning German is he the solution I love Jose for like the, the box office and the history but if Mourinho is the answer right now what is the question that that is the real scenario here and uh you know, I heard, like, the Football Ramble, which is one of my more favoured football podcasts, laugh about this, about Kane going, he goes over there, they might not win the league in the Bundesliga, and then Jose Mourinho rocks up. But actually, I don't think Mourinho and Harry Kane had a bad relationship. I think Harry Kane was relatively still quite prolific under Jose, um, despite the style of football they played, he still got some goals out of him. Mourinho's quite good with strikers, historically. He always has been um, throughout his career. And strikers have, even if they haven't been like crazy popping off, like you know, like a Drogba, such an important striker for for Mourinho. But Drogba scored his highest return, of course, under Angelotti. He got like 28 league goals, which again, by the way, is insane. Drogba's not known for his high volume of goals, but uh, yeah, I think he got like 28 goals and 11 assists or something in the league, which is madness uh, for a centre forward, especially with that amount of assists as well. Um, but he was known more for what he offered to the team, his all-round game, his big moments, his like how he defended in the box and stuff. And that's the kind of stuff Jose likes as a striker. Anyway, I digress a bit there. Point being, I think they had a good relationship, Kane and Mourinho. But I think in the media, I'm in the football media, but as fans, football fans, I think we all want to see Jose in big jobs, causing problems and, you know, causing exciting moments. And... Uh, what, what a headline it would be. But the thing is, where would they go after? I mean, they'd probably want Xabi Alonso, Bayern. I'm not sure he'd go there straight after, say, winning the Bundesliga with Lever uh, Nev Leverkusen. I was calling him the bad nickname there. Uh, Leverkusen. I think he'd have like a bit of an emotional... Even though he's he's of Bayern uh, in his playing time, I think he'd find it very hard to just go that constant migration. Something good happens in the Bundesliga you go to Bayern, whether it's, you know, like Lewandowski at Dortmund or whoever, do you know what I mean? 
you're like, oh, you're a good person in the Bundesliga. You just the current takes you to Bayern Munich, which is lame. So I think maybe, especially if you win the league, it's just perfectly set up for him to go to Liverpool, isn't it? Because the team will be good to go as well. Klopp will be leaving a really well-oiled machine. And, you know, he's got a, so five years at Liverpool, uh, Alonso, I think. So, obviously, a very different profile of manager, Javi Alonso or Mourinho at the moment. Young, old, expensive, pragmatic. Um, anyway, really, really interesting. I wanted to talk about it. So let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys find it interesting. And yes, I will constantly, this channel will remain alive. So do subscribe, like and comment. All right, peace.